Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is one of my highly requested videos so I'm finally doing it. Well, people ask me for NEET 2021 strategies. I don't exactly have strategies but I can definitely give you some tips that can help in your preparation because this is one of the most crucial time for any competitive exam preparation the last few months because they can help you get that extra one person that you need to stand out from the crowd. I've already made a video about this, about making a timetable and the stuff you have to keep in mind in order to make a timetable. And in that, I remember mentioning long-term goals and short-term goals. So now, in this period of time, you're supposed to make two kinds of timetables. One is a long-term timetable and this is especially for those students who are writing board exams and NEET or any other competitive exams because you have to figure out how you're going to space out board preparation and NEET preparation. My personal advice is focusing completely on both at least one month before board exams begin. That's the period when you have to completely leave away all your competitive exam preparation etc. But apart from that, before boards, focus on clearing your concepts, if any, and also doing mocks after boards. So this is your long-term timetable and I'm pretty sure it's going to be easier for droppers. Now, the other thing is a short-term timetable and short-term timetables are for a month or a day. So you wake up and you decide, Ki, aaj kya karna hai? what do I have to do today? And you make out a plan and that's your short-term timetable, which varies from person to person and from day to day. So yes, your short-term timetable completely depends on you, but it's very important that you have one because when you have a timetable, you have something to stick to. These are the last few months left and you obviously must be thinking ki, how am I supposed to revise 12th and 11th together? So my simple plan for this, what I followed and personally it kind of helped me was, is completely focusing on board exam preparation until boards are done. So what I did was, I studied for boards apart and side by side i also did questions from 12th grade so until board exams try to focus completely on 12th grade because when you obviously when you study for board exams you also study for competitive exams because it's literally the same syllabus right so until board exams i kind of did not touch 11th that is from the period of january to march I left 11th grade syllabus and completely focused on 12th that helped me crack board exams too and what I did later was the extended period of time that I got in between board exams and NEET preparation that's when I used an entire month for only 11th grade preparation and revision. I'm pretty sure you've already revised 11th grade syllabus at least once or twice in your 12th grade period so yes make sure that you focus on boards until they're done so that you're clear with all your board concepts, all your 12th grade concepts, so that you can just move to revision of 11th grade concepts after boards. And that'll be way, way more easier. How about books and study materials? So now study materials, most of it, you either get it from your own personal notes or the study packages that your respective coaching has given you or something like that but what I did was apart from my own notes I also went through some online notes and I've actually made a video about this too and the link will be given in the description about the books and the online resources that I used and there was this amazing website which gave precise and amazing notes I've used amazing way too many times <laughs> well it was clear IIT medical I think I'll give the link below too so I went through that for notes for last minute revision. So online resources are amazing because they're available for free and they literally cover every single point that you want to. So if you're not, if you don't have enough books or aren't able to buy enough books, then definitely go online because I've literally done my last two, three month prep completely online. And apart from that, when you talk about physical books, you, if you're, a person who is looking to clear each and every concept to know each and every question 
then start with the basic ones such as NCRT exemplar or MTG because they literally cover questions from every single concept that you can find in NCRT or which will come in these exams so that you have a clearer idea on what kind of questions that you might face. Apart from that, for higher level of questions, I used Arihant books and I also solved JE papers because for physics and chemistry, the higher level of questions I found were better in JE papers because obviously it's kind of harder. So it improves your analytical skills and your deductional skills, etc. So for in terms of resources and books and everything else, I either go for the books I've mentioned or online resources. What should your mode of study be? Well, it varies from student to student, but what I did was Initially, I cleared each and every concept which I left in the period of 11th and 12th. For those two years, I'm pretty sure I ignored many concepts thinking that this is not important. Nahi hai. So those particular concepts, I redid, I relearned and well made it clearer. So that was one thing I did. That is one mode of learning. The other one is through mistakes about which I've already made a video too. So you learn from your mistakes, you note down your mistakes and mistakes are your most important mode of learning in this final crucial months. And the third mode of learning is obviously revision. You can't learn something new at this point. I mean, you can through mistakes and questions, but just make sure that you revise what you already know and strengthen those concepts. So your three modes of learning should be covering the subtopics that you've missed, which are considered important. Number two is doing questions and noting down your mistakes and rereading those mistakes. And number three is revising older concepts. Now about mock exams. So until your board exams are done, try to do at least one or two mock tests every week and analyze those tests and note down your mistakes and learn from them. And after your board exams are done, when you're completely into the groove of NEET, then make sure that you at least do one mock test every alternative day and you correct it then and there. So it's almost going to like writing a mock test, correcting it and learning the concepts that you missed is almost going to take about six hours of your day. So make sure you leave six hours of your day for mocks each alternative day after board exams are done. And the other strategies that you have to keep in mind when there is, you obviously know there's a vast amount of syllabus when it comes to NEET. So it's important that you know the weightage of each of these chapters. For example, in physics, thermodynamics carries a huge weightage in NEET. In biology, there is genetics, there is human physiology, which carries the highest amount of weightage. And in chemistry, obviously, organic chemistry. So try your best to focus on these topics when you feel that there's too much of syllabus and you can't cover all of it so yes strategize it accordingly the most important tip is quality over quantity so you might have students who probably study for seven eight hours a day and you also have students who study for two three hours a day but they score higher and the only way you can reason this is they're utilizing their study time well they're using their complete concentration for those two, three hours and grasping each and everything that they read. So always remember the amount of hours of study does not really matter if you're not giving your 100% in those given amount of hours. So try to increase your concentration, try to study better, try to grasp everything in a better way. And this can only be done if you explore your ways of studying. Maybe music makes you concentrate more listen to music or maybe you don't need any distractions around you so make that environment create that environment that you study and give your hundred percent in those few hours it's more like minimal efforts and greater results the last and final tip is mental preparation now the next few months are going to be really hard for you mentally and physically so you have to prepare yourself for working hard you have to prepare yourself and tell yourself that this is the last shot you've got and you have to give it all that you've got 
and you also have to take care of your physical and mental health equally so that you're not stressed at the end and you are not burdened and you know led on by weird thoughts all the time so think of ways you can calm yourself think of ways that's going to improve your productivity and everything is very personal so my ways may not work on you so just stay calm and think of ways you can help yourself in these few months without getting overly stressed so yes mental preparation is very important it's important that you change your perspective of hard work it's important that you stop feeling sorry for yourself for studying for so long as because honestly everyone's doing the same and the end results are going to be amazing i know it it's going to be amazing so yes those were my tips for you to glide through these few months before the exam i'm not sure these if these tips are going to help you score better or anything but i'm pretty sure you're going to learn something from these so yes thank you so much for watching and i'll keep you updated with my next video